love fairies and welcome back to my channel. It is Shannon. I am excited because today we are back with another thrift haul. I know a lot of you really like these. I feel like it's been a while. I haven't been scoring a ton at the thrift store. It doesn't mean I haven't been going though. I think I've finally accumulated enough pieces to do a nice little haul for you. I can't wait to show you what I found. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you join our fairy fam here. I do post a new video every Sunday. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. I really appreciate it. And let's get into the thrift haul. Also, I switched up my background a little bit. Let me know what you think. I feel like I'm gonna keep evolving it. I like to change things up. I got in like a rearranging mood today and switched it up. Let me know your thoughts. Hey, let me let me grab the pieces. Let's get started. So a lot of this I bought yesterday. I stopped at the thrift store, but I have a few other things that I've gotten like other times. I'm just gonna add it. I'm just gonna put it all together. Some of it still has the tags on. I didn't get a chance to take them off and wash like I normally do, but that's okay. This was the the first top that I bought, I was immediately drawn to this when I saw it. I really like this kind of ruching right now. I thought it looked like a really pretty color. I liked the bell sleeve on there. I thought it was really pretty. I did try it on and it fit really nice. It is from Express and it is a size small. And I just thought this looked really cute. It made me feel pretty when I put it on. So I grabbed it, you know? It was only $3.99 too, but a good deal. I thought this would be a nice like springtime, like transitional top. So there is that. I bought this cardigan a while ago. I've worn it a couple times and I really like it. It just reminds me of like those old crayons. I don't know, like a box of crayons or those ones that were like melded together like different colors, you know what I'm talking about. I just really liked this little cardigan. It was a good cropped length. It gave me kind of like vintage throwback 90s vibes. And it's really soft. I love a good cropped length cardigan. I just do. The brand is Lindsay L and it's a medium. This isn't like from Lindsay Lohan, is it? Did she have a clothing line? I honestly have no idea. I like this. It needed to come home with me and I've already gotten good use out of it. I forget how much this was. I want to say like around four dollars, nothing crazy. Okay, this top I've also had for a little bit, but I haven't gotten to show you. I actually wore this in a butterfly palette video that I filmed. It's just like this cute crushed velvet baby doll pink tee, nice cropped length. I thought the fabric was so pretty. I just love crushed velvet. I'm a sucker for it, you guys. <laughs> this is from good old Aeropostale. It's a size small and I just thought it was really cute. I think it was like three or four dollars as well and I've already worn this a couple times and I really like it. I feel like it's kind of versatile. I love the color. This I kind of got with my Hawaii trip in mind. Just a cute little cropped length striped tee. This was giving me really cute kind of like 70s vibes. I don't know, I just thought the colors were really fun. Giving me like a nostalgia feeling for like a simpler time. And it looked really cute when I tried it on. I also thought this would layer really well with like overalls or like a jumper or something like that too because it fits really tight. It's kind of like a different neckline that I don't wear a lot. The brand is called Three Girls Clothing. It is a size medium. Let's see. This was $3.99. I always forget like if I got half off on stuff or not. I never really look at that. It's just like if I want it, I'm just gonna get it. I don't really pay attention to the half off colors, although maybe I should. I don't know. I think this will probably make my bag for Hawaii. I just feel like this shirt in Hawaii just makes sense. I'm excited for the trip. This piece kind of has a little story attached. I've looked at this the past three times I've gone to Goodwill and haven't bought it. It doesn't look good when I put it on. I got this for the fabric. I am really planning on starting to sew again. I've had to take a break from it, but I really want to start doing some like thrift and thrift flip kind of content redesigning. It was actually kind of sad today because I actually took my sewing machines down from back here and put them in my closet because I keep not sewing and moving them like every week to film videos. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna dedicate this to the YouTube 
YouTube background for now because that's what I'm doing. And when I get the urge to sew, I will pull them out. And I know that I will find the will to sew and craft and do that again. I can feel it coming back. I just, I burn myself out trying to do a handmade business with it. Seriously, be careful turning like your hobby, passion, what you love into a business because I feel like it kind of ruined it for me and I'm still recovering from that. Anyways, that was a big tangent. I'm sorry. I really liked this fabric and to me this just needed to become like a little peplum top like I used to make for my brand. I like these little roses. It was just giving me like cute little fairy feelings. The brand is actually LC Lauren Conrad. It's a size small. I wish I liked it how it was but I just don't. It, it didn't look right but I'm going to cut this up someday and make something out of it. I promise you. Okay this kind of reminds me of the last one just like in a sweater form. I like a good floral. What can I say? It's not wanting to lay right. I need to show you. I should button it. Hold on, I'll button it so you can see it. Okay, that's good enough. Here it is. I thought this was just a cute little dainty sweater and it was also giving me the little fairy feelings that I love. It looked cute when I tried it on. I wish it was a little shorter but I think I'll still find a good way to wear it. I like having a good little light cardigan, you know, just Row on. The brand is called Active Basic and it's a size medium. It feels really soft and I just like these like little roses on there. It was $3.99. Okay, next up, more fabric to <laughs> hope for my sewing future. This was, this is a skirt. This was like in with like the bed stuff. I know, it's a pillowcase. You know what, it's a king size pillowcase. I actually kind of need one of these. So either I'm gonna use this as a pillowcase or I'm gonna cut it up and turn it into a shirt. <laughs> I'm not sure. I just thought this was really nice fabric. What's this called? I think it's called like a space dye. I really liked it though. I like the colors on there. It made me feel happy. It was 99 cents too, so why not, you know? Maybe I'll wash this though and try it as like a pillowcase on the bed. It doesn't really match any of the other sheets though. I don't know, it's a dollar though. I like it. Okay, I bought an accessory. I bought a pink bucket hat. I needed this. I don't know why, it just spoke to me. I think it's cute. I know bucket hats have been having a moment and I don't really own one and I thought this would be cute for the Hawaii trip. I thought this would be a cute little like beach day hat. You all like flip it up like that. The cute little bathing suit. I feel like that will be really cute. I like it. I don't know why the tag's not on here. Or no, I bought this the other day. I did take the tag off. I think it was like three or four dollars though. I don't know if I could throw this in the laundry. It's kind of goofy. It's kind of like fuzzy the texture. Did I make a fashion mistake? Let me know what you think. Okay, this is kind of random, but sometimes I just like these like weird vintage -y things. Got this little like lingerie top. So this was just a really pretty piece. It looked kind of old to me. I have no idea if I'll ever wear this. I just kind of wanted to buy it. I don't know if I could pull it off as like a lingerie as clothes moment or if maybe I'll wear it actually just like to bed. Unfortunately though, it kind of ripped right here when I washed it. I need to fix that. It looks like there was a seam there, so I think I'll just be able to hand sew that and fix it, no big deal. It's just cute and pretty. I think it was like $3. It just spoke to me and I'm gonna find a way to make this into like a fashion moment. Just wait and see, I'll figure it out. And I bought a flannel. I did. I like wearing flannels to work. I'm allowed to wear those like over our shirt at work. And this one feels so soft. Like it is so soft. It kind of had like a nice, like a little oversized look when I tried it on. It's a nice print, not overwhelming, a small checker, you know. It is from A New Day, which I believe is Target's brand. And it's a size large and it was $3.99. It's just like really soft though. It feels very comfortable. I'm starting to become a flannel girl. I never thought that would happen, but it's happening. Okay, this is really goofy and look at me already preparing for next Christmas. <laughs> I bought a Christmas sweater. You know what? I had an ugly sweater party to go to this year or last year. What year is it? I don't know. 2021 Christmas and I couldn't find a sweater I liked. So I was like, you know what? I saw this one. I liked it. So I got it and it made me laugh as an elf taking a selfie and it says selfie, but the elf is like a different font. 
And this is kind of like an inside joke with my soul. My nickname in college with my friends was actually Elf because I would always wear these like elf ears when we'd go out to like concerts and stuff and like I would dress up like that for Halloween. Yeah, I was Elf. Some people still call me that. I like it. And so it just reminded me of my Elf nickname. I've been known to take a selfie or two, so I felt like it was fitting. So now next Christmas, I'm gonna have a Christmas sweater. I don't really own a Christmas sweater as of right now. I've always been kind of opposed to it, but I feel like this was funny. The brand is Bongo and it's a large. This was $5.49, so I don't know why this was a little pricier. It's goofy and I like it and I will have to stick this away and remember it next Christmas. Hold me accountable that I have to wear this sweater next Christmas, no matter what. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I got these. I bought scissors for a dollar. Like for a dollar, a good pair of scissors. I liked the pink. They have a little cover. I think I'm gonna put these in my gift wrapping organizer because that's the only thing I don't have in there is like a pair of scissors. I just want it to have its own pair of scissors to keep in there. Is that too much to ask for? I don't think so. Let's end with a trinket. Okay, this really needs cleaned. I apologize, I haven't cleaned it yet. I bought a little green trinket box. If I see green pottery, I, I can't help myself. I just need it. There's something in it. A derma, dermatological cleaning solution was in here. I'm gonna throw that away. <laughs> Yeah, this needs cleaned out really bad. Oh, it looks like someone made it though. It's got initials on the inside, LB. And I just thought that was a beautiful speckle glaze. I love the color and I love a good trinket box. I love hiding little things in boxes around the house. I'm gonna find room for this on the bookshelf. I'm planning to do kind of like a redo on our bookshelf soon. I just want to take like everything off, clean it, get rid of some of the stuff, redo the whole thing. I've been re-watching the Tidying Up series on Netflix. I freaking love that show. love Marie Kondo and she has inspired me to tidy up the book shelf a little bit. I feel like it needs it. So anyways, that's where this is going to end up. All right, my beautiful fairies, that is going to do it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I love doing these thrift hauls. I just love showing you my thrift finds and talking about them. Thrifting is like therapy to me. Something about it, like when I get off work early and I have time to go, it just relaxes me to get to look at all the clothes. I just love seeing all like the fashions of the past. I feel like it's just as much for me about like the hunt and like looking at the clothes as like what I actually buy. It really supplements my wardrobe in a great way. I just absolutely love it. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you join. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these thrift hauls. I really appreciate it. And until next time, remember that you are special, beautiful, and magical, and I love you so much. Bye!